Okay, so occipital uh, bone, uh, this is the medial view, I mean the inner view of the uh, occipital bone, and this is the outer view or external view of the, um, my, uh, of the occipital bone, okay? Uh, so you can see a few different structures. The most important one that you see here, this is called foramen magnum. And as I said before, this like area that connect uh, it's connecting um, lower part of the brain uh, with uh, spinal cord. Also, there is a couple of uh, small uh, openings are here, one here and one here. You cannot see it from this view. And this is hypoglossal canal, and that is cranial nerve 12 pass through that. Uh, you also have these ones, and uh, these are called occipital condyles and that articles which uh, with a first cervical vertebra first cervical vertebra uh, you have external occipital crest and external occipital protuberance if you um, touch the back of your head you may feel actually these areas also you have some lines here these are the nuchal lines um, so one here and one here and they, they are uh, uh, bony markings for the attachments of some of the neck muscles. Some of the neck muscles attached in that area. Palatine bone does not have a lot of uh, features. It has the horizontal plate, which is part of the heart uh, plate, uh, palate, and um, this is the perpendicular plate. Uh, which is the um, part of the wall of the nasal cavity wall of nasal cavity this is the part of the heart palate and here is the uh, called uh, orbital process and this is a small part of the orbital cavity this is a small part of it. very small uh, some other facial bone one is the vomer so that makes the lower part of the bony nasal cavity. The upper part is made by the perpendicular plate of ethmoid bone. You also have the lacrimal bone, and here is the lacrimal sulcus is located there. Um, and finally, it's the inferior nasal concha that I showed you before, and that's a separate bone. And this whole area is the nasal septum. And as you can see, this is not straight this is shifted to the side so two-thirds of people actually have this problem that their nasal septum is not straight it is shifted to uh, one side um, uh, this is the hyoid bone it's just one single bone in the neck and there's a lot of different muscles attached to it and you can see that uh, when we get to chapter 11 so it has a body it has lesser horn and it's a greater horn at this time, you may not see the importance of these, but in the muscle section, you will see different muscles attached to.